So we're looking at Netflix. Um, Netflix happens to give out a lot of juice. Um, and if you don't know what juice is, juice is basically time premium. And so Netflix has been consistently giving out juice, especially during this market correction right in here. You could see Netflix went down in sympathy, but because of its volatility, because of its expectations, Netflix has a lot of juice. You'll hear me talk about juice quite a lot in here. Um, and so the juice is basically the amount of time premium there is in the option. So let's just take a quick look at Netflix. It's in a first stage base. This is all a first stage base setup here uh, with the price of a breakout of about 386 bucks. Now, uh, Netflix broke out on numbers last well, a couple weeks ago, and you could see that in this volume bar right here, 64% uh, greater than average volume. Uh, it went to a high, it came back, it closed pretty tight, and then uh, this week it's actually gone down and hit its, um, hit its moving average. And it looks like it's got some healthy correction going on. It's making a high handle. Let's look at it on the daily. I think Netflix looks pretty good here. The daily, you can see this amplified a bit. Netflix has gone up, um, you know, more than it's 20, 25% in here. And so um, it's really strong. Uh, that's why I, con I continue to look at it because the bottom line is we want a strong stock with good quality fundamentals. And that's what Netflix continues to give us. So we continue to, to trade in Netflix. That could change tomorrow. We're also in a confirmed uptrend. Uh, we have uh, four green lights in our market. So as long as there are four green lights, we can buy and we can buy Netflix and then we'll do a fairly conservative um, in the money strike. Uh, but anyway, this is the bottom line on Netflix. You can see it's uh, it's corrected here for the last five or six days, but it's done it on lower volume. And so as it continues to correct, it continues to give you that's positive action for the stock going up or at least the stock staying the same. In the cash flow machine, all we care about is the stock stays the same or goes up. Uh, we're not doing the other side where we're buying puts. We're just doing the covered call, covered spread, vertical spread, diagonal spread strategy. And so this is what we like to see is that when a stock breaks out on numbers, it's gonna come back and it's, it's gonna wanna test that area. And it looks like it came back and tried to test that area and then it bounced right back off of that. So we like the constructive um, setup here in Netflix.